power in the blood of Jesus Christ. We thank you for this another wonderful moment, another wonderful hour that Jehovah you have presented unto us, O King of Glory. Thank you, Jehovah God, because the moment of truth has come, Jehovah God. My dear Father, to reveal the big secrets of the kingdom of God. And I pray, Jehovah God, may you use me as your vessel, Jehovah God, as you teach others, teach me also, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. King of glory, I pray that you impart to the spirit, Jehovah, of understanding unto our lives, Jehovah, and the spirit of liberation, O King of glory, be together with us, Jehovah God. We thank you for everyone that is listening, even the online people. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray and even believe. Amen. amen and amen. And let us clap for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Second Timothy, chapter one. Second Timothy chapter one. The book of Second Timothy chapter one. Chapter one, verse seven, the word of God says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of sound of a sound mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Our topic today is the spirit of fear among the brethren. The spirit of fear among the brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. And the word of God has started by telling us that our God has not given us the spirit of fear. And our topic is the spirit of fear among the brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. Where does this spirit come from? Because the word is saying our God has not given us the spirit of fear. But you see, within the brethren, within the ministers of God, within the people with the calling of God, there is the spirit of fear. Where does that spirit of fear come from? Hallelujah. And when you see that there is spirit of fear, you will mark some point that whenever this spirit of fear comes, they broke the brethren to serve God. Number one, they broke the brethren to serve God or they broke the ministers of God to serve him. Hallelujah. Amen. That you find that people cannot serve God well because this spirit is dwelling among their life. Somebody cannot serve God in a well manner. Somebody cannot worship God in a well manner because this spirit of fear is upon that person. And when I speak of that person, I speak of a, a beloved brother, a beloved sister with the faith of Christ, person who has indeed received the doctrine. But you find that that person, even after receiving the doctrine, there is still this spirit of fear that is broken that person from serving God. Hallelujah. Amen. Number two, they disarm an army and leave him in a dissolved position. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. They, 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 they disarm you. And when we speak of disarming an army, disarming an army is when an army has a weapon. And that weapon has been taken from him. Hallelujah. So whenever this spirit of fear comes unto a soldier, it leaves that soldier with no hope. It leaves that soldier in a dissolute position. Meaning that that person has a lifeless. That person has surrendered himself unto the fear. Meaning that he cannot please God at all. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Whenever a, a, a soldier or an army has been attacked by the enemies and he's disarmed or his weapons has been taken from him, that soldier ha, is a lifeless. He's barren. He cannot bear any fruits. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. He is there being left and he has given his life now to the enemies that enemies can do with him whatever they want to do. They can control him as a remote. Be on this side, he goes. Be on the other side, eat this, take this, drink this. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Because he is disarmed. But if that army has his arm, his weapons on, that army is so hard to be attacked. 
Because he will defend himself. Hallelujah. Amen. So you see that when this spirit comes unto the brethren, these brethren, they are disarmed, they are paid, they are disarmed, they are weapons. Hallelujah. We have weapons that we do carry. The same moment that you believe in Jesus, Jesus Christ entrusted you with the mysteries weapon. Hallelujah. And those weapons, they are part of number one prayers, faith, testimonies. Hallelujah. So when the spirit of fear comes on your side, you feel fear to pray. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. You feel that you cannot rebuke the enemy. You cannot cast out demon. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. I don't know if you have ever been on that position. That when you are praying, you feel the presence of dark forces within the area that you are praying. And you find that some people, when they are praying at that moment, they feel fear even casting out those demons. Because they feel they will be attacked. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When you get onto deep in prayers, you will feel that. When you are in that presence, many people, they forsake the prayers. Because they fear. That spirit of fear arouses and it sends fear upon them. That they start thinking, oh, what will they do to me? Hallelujah. What will they do to me? And you find that person, if it is around uh, at night, midnight, you find him going back to sleep without moving on with prayers. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Because you are disarmed in your prayers, you are disarmed in your boldness, you are disarmed in your faith, you are disarmed in that confidence that you had, you are disarmed, therefore you cannot pray well. You cannot worship the Lord well. When you start to worship the Lord, this spirit of fear, sends fear of the chaos of life, you start thinking, Yes, I am praying here. I need to do some deals somewhere. Huh? You find yourself, you forsake prayers, you go to do the deals. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Because it sends fear unto you. And you ask yourself, what am I doing here? What will I eat at night? What will I? What will my children? What will I pay rent? How will I pay my debt? Praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The spirit of fear. It disarms an army. It disarms the brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. And that thing of disarming, you find the church falling unto apostasy. The church falling unto apostasy. Because we are disarmed. The church has been disarmed. The worship, the true worship that was there, you find it being disarmed and has been taken out of the church. And you find a strange fire getting in. Strange fire being repressing the the true worship that was there in the church. And therefore, what follows, it is an apostasy. The dead of the church. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Divisions will occur into the church. Things, separations, lack of love, hatred, bitterness, and forgiveness, they will enter into the church. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. They make one to stagnate or to mark time on one position. You are not moving in any way. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. It's another point of, about the, 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 the challenge or the things that this spirit of fear brings. That whenever it attacks the brethren, they cannot move on. Whenever it attacks the church of God, the church of God cannot expand, cannot move on very well. They are left on a desolate position. The same thing that I was saying. They are left there having nothing to bear, they have no fruit. Therefore, they stand and they stop. They, they just mark time, you know. Mark time is it's, it's, it's a way from uh, uh, marching. You know, when you are marching, you move forward or you move backwards. But when you are mark time, you are just there. You don't move, you are just there. And therefore, when one is marching, you will think that person is moving. But that person is not moving. He remains on the same, same position. Praise the name of our Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He, he will stay there and he will, that tells you that that beloved brother or sister will be there on the same same position, thinking that he's moving somewhere where else he's not moving anywhere. Praise the name of our Jesus. Because the feet seems to be moving. Hallelujah. You seem to be moving. Hallelujah. But you are not going anywhere. You are just there. You are just there. You are serving God. You think that you are moving. You are, you are pleasing God. But you are just there because the spirit of fear came on you. 
praise the, the name of Lord Jesus. You don't desire to grow. You don't desire to get higher. Hallelujah. We all have the calling, a higher calling. And as a beloved uh, brethren, you need to work out for that higher calling. You work out to reach out to that point of greatness. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. But when you see yourself, you are just here on this level. You don't want to work on to that high level. You are in that spirit of fear. You cannot move on. You just mark time on that same, same position. And that's why you find that if somebody, if somebody has the gift of singing, you find that person does not desire to get to another level. Hallelujah. You find that person wants to be on that local state praise the name of our Jesus Amen. he wants just to be on that local state that's not desire to grow that's not desire to move to another level to the next level you find somebody and, ask, and tell the person you can sing an English song that person tells you you know I don't know English well, you know I cannot praise the name of our Jesus Christ but when you look at that person you see that person is capable of doing that. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. That person is always in, on, on the move of how will people think of my English? How will people think of me singing with English? Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And because of that fear of people, you will always be on that position. Singing on the same language that you know. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. You see, we shall come to see the, the types of fear. But uh, let me just take another, another point. There are five that I want to speak of. <coughs> this spirit of, uh, of fear that makes you to mark time on one position. You know, that spirit makes even some people to be in a position that they cannot reach unto their destiny. The Lord has prepared something for them ahead. But because of this spirit, they cannot move on to reach out to that thing. Hallelujah. Amen. They cannot reach out to that thing. They make you feel comfortable where you are. They make you feel comfortable that you feel, me, I am okay. In this position, I am okay. You are in a single room. I am okay. You are employed. I am okay. I am single. I am okay. Somebody not such 40, 45 years. I am okay. Being single. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. You don't work out. You don't want to reach out to that point. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Where God wants you to be, you don't be. Because you feel that you are in a comfort zone. You are aware. Koko Salama. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. If it works out with your mind, it works out with your spirit, that you feel that you, you are okay. Hallelujah. Not knowing that the days are good. The days are still moving. You find yourself reaching at 55. That is the point you start saying, I need to reach now to my spouse. Now I want to reach to my, to my huh? presence. Now I want to go. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Where you have no strength. You have no power. That is the time that you want to serve the Lord. That is the time that you want to, to have a family. Huh? Hallelujah. You set it down when you are youth. But when you become old, that is the time you want to work. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. That is the time you want to reach out to now. Hallelujah. Another point is that they bring derailment. They bring derailment. When that spirit attacks, there is a delay. The, 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 the presence of the Lord, they delay. That is what I'm telling you, that God wants you to reach unto a certain point, but you are not worthy to reach it because you have that spirit of fear that is telling you you cannot make it. Hallelujah. You want to take a high risk to start a business. But when that spirit attacks you, you start asking yourself, how am I going to start this business? Am I capable to run this kind of business? Hallelujah. You want to go for a loan. 
But you start asking yourself, how will I do it? Can I pay this kind of loan? Praise the name of our Jesus Christ. When that spirit comes, you find yourself being on delays. You are not moving in any way. Praise the name of our Jesus Christ. You are about to reach to where you are going, but you start feeling unwell. You, not, you start feeling that you don't have peace. That's that is spirit of bereavement upon you, that the spirit of fear has sent bereavement, that when you try to take a, 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 a risk, you cannot do it. Praise the name of our Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You cannot do it at all because that spirit has attacked you. Number five, they make you a coward. The worst thing that the spirit of fear can do is to make you a coward. And whenever you become a, a coward, you become like a hypocrite. That's the name of our Jesus Christ. And you know the word of God says in the book of Revelation. I don't know if it is Revelation 21, 29, number 22. Huh? Revelation 20. Only if it is 22, 19. And he says that, uh huh. Money 18. It speaks about the coward. Revelation. 18 to do it somewhere else. 18, chapter 18 or chapter 20. It says that even the cowards shall be thrown out. They don't have part in the kingdom of God. The cowards. The cowards. And that's why I'm telling you that it's the danger, it's the dangerous uh, uh, position where fear can take you to. They make you become like a hypocrite in any way. Hallelujah. I cannot see it, but if somebody will find it. Aha, for without for without our dogs and the sorcerers and the hormongers and the murderers and the idolaters and uh, whosoever loved and make it a lie. Aha. That is good to do what? I cannot find it right now. But I think I will put it there for those who are in the media. 21, 8. It says 28, 1, 8. But the fearful, yes. The fearful, another version says of, of coward. But the fearful and unbelieving, and, and the abominable, and murderers, and hormongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part the lake which burned with the fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The fearful, praise the name of our Lord Jesus. The fearful, those who have this spirit of fear, they don't have part in the kingdom of God. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is not all about the sexual immorality people, the, the prostitute, the, 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 the thieves. No, speaking about the fearful. Those who are carrying that spirit of fear, that one cannot stand and testify. One cannot stand and minister. One cannot stand and pray. One cannot stand before people. He says that the fearful, they will have their part in the lake of fire. Praise the name of our Jesus Christ. Amen. The fearful, the cowards, they have their part in the kingdom of uh, that on the, on, the, on the lake of fire. Which burned with the brave sword, which is the second death. Praise the name of our Jesus Christ. Those are the points that I wanted us to, to check that is speaking about when the fear is sent or has been cast upon the children of God. And Satan, one of the greatest weapons that he uses to attack the brethren is this spirit of fear. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he knows very well, whenever that spirit has attacked you, you cannot serve God well. You cannot serve the Lord. You cannot. Amen. I was one, one day praying, I was very young, and I was praying, and uh, you know those uh, cubes, we call them cubes, of the village, where we get uh, money, and uh, we are there. So, 
Kweshika haraka. Ukitahiri wa mali na yako. So I was there praying one day. And you know there in the village at that those days there were now electricities. So we were using that uh, small lamp that is uh, we, we hold it just like this and we put it there. And those now kids we had put the cassettes, the, the cottons, and uh, I bowed down, I knelt down and, and, uh, and uh, at my bed there and I was praying. And when I was praying there, I felt under the bed something. What is the name of Lord Jesus? I felt something under the bed. And I thought the thief has come and hid under the bed. <laughs> I stopped praying, I took the lamp, I went down the bed, I put it under the bed, I saw nobody. I went back to prayers. Again, I had now at the wall. I had at the wall. And I said, now the thief has gone, has come at my back now. How will I do? How will I stand against this thief? You know, I started praying for robbers. I started saying, Lord, be better than the thieves. Father, be young. Father, save their soul. Father, redeem them. Do not let them do what they want to do. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. After finishing praying, I came back to my senses and I noticed, ah, that was just a rat. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. It was just a rat that was there at the house. There were no leaves. But you see, the moment when I was praying, I prayed the whole prayers knowing there is somebody on that house with me. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. When that spirit, I'm telling you that, when that spirit has been cast upon you, you cannot concentrate. In any way, you cannot concentrate. Even when, if, even if you are here alone, praying on this house alone at night, you cannot concentrate. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. When you have fear, you cannot stand before people. And how do you recognize that you have that spirit? It's when you feel yourself that I am ashamed. I cannot do this. I cannot work out this. That is the moment that you feel, ah, ah, I am attacked. I am under that an attack. That you wake up at, at around 3 a.m. in the morning and you start praying. But you don't finish up the prayers. You feel that ah, ah, there is a dark force. When you don't finish that prayer, that is the moment you know I am attacked. Already I am carrying this spirit within me. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. You understand yourself that I am under attack. I am carrying this spirit of fear. That you see yourself, you started praying, then you went back to bed. And you slept comfortably. Just know that you are under attack. Hallelujah. And we have now two types of fear. Number one, fear of the face of men. Fear of the face of men. This spirit, if they are that brethren, that they cannot witness Jesus in any way. They make people, or they make the brethren become the grass, grassroots, the grassroots Christians, the grassroots uh, believers. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. They cannot serve God well because they fear what people say about them. They fear what people, you know, this man that was called Saul. Saul was commissioned to go and to destroy the cities of Gilgal, to kill the king and everything that was there. But Saul, when he was asked, why do we still see that there are lambs there is the king that you are still holding. And Saul said, you know, I feared the people because they, they told me to do so. I feared. Hallelujah. This act of having the fear of the face of, of people. You fear what people say. Another thing, remember that young man in the book of uh, John and uh, his parents. 
that there was an order or a command that if you are going to testify about Jesus Christ, you are going to be sent out of synagogue. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. And now Jesus came across this bright young man. And Jesus healed the man, the young man. And the young man was asked, Who healed you? The young man said, It was Christ. And they, they went to the to the parents to ask the parents, Who did this act? The word of God says, The parents feared to say it was Christ who healed the young man. Because they feared to be thrown out of synagogue. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, that you cannot testify Jesus because you fear to be thrown out of the church. You fear to testify about Jesus because you will be thrown out of that company. You fear to witness Jesus because of Muslims around you. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. There was this man that had converted himself from Muslim to Christianity. He was serving here. And he told me one day, man of God, what am I going to do? Because I, 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 I am going to light a CV to a Muslim, uh, to a Muslim company. And what am I going to do? Because they know my names, they know that I was a Muslim. And even his face, he was uh, an Arab. So they, they would ask him, surely, are you a Christian? So he was there asking, what am I going to do here about religion? Am I going to write that I am a Christian? But I just leave it like that. But he himself, he answered himself, even before I, I answered him. He told me, but I am going to write that I am a Christian and I will have that boldness. If they didn't give me a job, it's okay. If they don't give me a job, it's okay. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. People do fear, even on writing their CVs. I remember that I was also in that position. Uh, I was being called for a job on a certain company. And they pay very well. It's a Muslim company. And I was told that for you to get onto this company, you must sleep. You become a, a Muslim. And I said, I am enough with the salary that I have. Praise the name of our Jesus. Hallelujah. I am okay. I don't want your salary if it will affect my salvation. If it will affect my belief, I don't want. No matter how good it is. Praise the name of our Jesus. Hallelujah. But many Christians, many children of God, they fear. They fear to testify who they are. Hallelujah. The sons of God, they fear to say who they are. They get onto a company. They fear to say that HR, me, I am a believer, and every Sunday I go to church. They fear. Praise the name of our Jesus. And when that Saturday comes, a seventy-day believer doesn't come to the company, doesn't go to the job. He or she goes to, to church. And even when it comes to Sunday, the company works even on Sunday, you still you see yourself going to Sunday. Why should it be like that? That a seventh day can be given time to go and worship his God. But you on Sunday, you cannot be given. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This comes because the first, first day that you went out on that job, you did not testify who you are. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. But if you get onto that job, you get onto that interview, they tell you, we are going to give you a job. You tell them, thank you. And on Sundays, me, I will be going to church. Excuse me, I will not be coming for a job. They will understand you. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. If they want to give you a job, they will give you. If they will not give you, praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. But the, we face people. We face the face, we fear the face of men, the face of people. That I tell you now, haha, come and stand here and pray for us. You start fearing. I tell you, come, sing one song. You have that spirit of fear. 
you let you look at people and you start wondering how are they going to say about you? That's the name of our Jesus Christ. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. You are told, go and witness. You see, that is Samaritan woman. She did not go to her house. She went to the village. She told the village people, come and see Jesus. Come and see Christ. Come and see that man that is telling me about my life. Even I have not told him anything about me. Come and see. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. There was no fear at all at that woman. But what about me? We do fear. We cannot share the gospel with our husbands, with our wives, with our children, with our cousins. Hallelujah. Truly, actually, if you want, if I come to your family, I can know if you are born again through your cousins. Praise the name of our Jesus. They can testify if you, you are born again. Your own cousins, they will say. Because they know when you go on their meeting, their gathering, you be like them. Hallelujah. The same, same life they, 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 they live, it's the same life you want to live. You, you squeeze yourself among them, and you don't want them to know that you are born again until you come back to the rock. That's the name of Lord Jesus. There are so many people who are like that. When they go to the village, they are born again. They dress very well. They dress very well. But when they come back to the city, they are not born again. Hallelujah. Because they fear what their parents will say. If they go with those miniscuits there, if they go with those trousers there, they are well covered. And they have some very good manners when presenting themselves before their parents. But wait until they come back to the city. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Because people carry that space. And this is what delays even young men to ask or propose for ladies. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. That a young man has spotted a lady and the young man feels that I truly love this lady. And I want to settle down with this lady. But the young man has that fear to go and meet the lady and tell the lady, you know, Hallelujah. Because you have that spirit of fear, you cannot face that person. But whenever you see her passing, you are like, hey. There she is, you continue with her. Hey. Here we go, here we go. And then, and I don't need a scar here. When are you going to have that boldness and face that person and tell the person, I want to settle down with you? Where's the name of Lord Jesus? Hallelujah. That you gather the courage to stand and say, I love that advertisement that was there. That was saying, Ego jito kese, Gio jeshi, Bere tawatu. It required, it required, but you are right. What about it? It was king. Jito kese. Just give yourself, gather the courage. Do what you think that you cannot do. Praise the name of our Jesus. Hallelujah. I told you that. If it is a business that you want to start, stop having that fear to face the, 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 the banks. Walk on that bank like somebody knows what he's doing. Go there, tell them I want this room and I'm going to, to, to pay it for this month. Hallelujah. But you don't go and uh, take the, 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 the debt that you go and buy the vehicle, not knowing how you are going to repay. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Take the risk. You know, one sign that you will understand that you don't have fear upon the face of men. You feel comfortable when you are within 
the, 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 the gathering of people, you feel that you are comfortable, you have peace. When you feel that you have peace, you can express yourself the way you want. Hallelujah. And that's why you see youths, even we don't gather there because we knew that you have fear for us. When you look at our face, you have fear. You don't want to speak. You fear what we are going to say. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. And we have left you, and I was told by your leaders that truly people are now speaking. They are communicating. Huh? You feel yourself that you don't have peace at all. You see people, you feel fear. Uh -uh. Just to know that you are under an attack. That you cannot even serve God well. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's why you see that you have a testimony. You want to share this testimony. But you start asking yourself, how am I going to present this testimony? Because if I start it in this manner, people will speak about it. Hallelujah. You see, and that's why I, I love myself. Because God gave me that courage that I can speak to any kind of number. I can speak to, to young, I can speak to elders, I can speak to the very old, I can speak to anybody. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's why I found wife when I was still young because I met her and I was <laughs> bold enough to tell her, yes, I need you. I need a good right? Hallelujah. Because I had that courage. I was not carrying that spirit of fear. That's the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's going to interrupt to this topic so much. <laughs> Getting into marriage. One feels ashamed to stand before people that you cannot serve God. Another thing, you feel like being hated. When you have that spirit of fear, you feel that you are hated. Hallelujah. And uh, there is true. There was somebody, I was, this, this Thursday, I was the one who preached. But there was a time that there was a woman who stood before other students and asked the first, the first question was, do you love me? Hallelujah. That was the first question. Do you love me? I also went to Sultan Hamud. We were in a right talk talk. Then we came to preach in Sultan Hamud. The preacher that we went to preach with, him, the first question was, Muna Nipenda? Praise the name of Lord Jesus. The sign of fear. The sign of fear. You feel in yourself that people hate you. Actually, people don't care about you. <laughs> That's the name of our Jesus. They don't care about you. And, I, and when I, I came to know about that, maybe even where I live, you don't care. <laughs> Hallelujah. Me, I go I go here in your daughter. Because Ukishi kufikiria watu wana sema nini kukuhusu. You will live to please people. Hallelujah. You cannot live your own life. You will always live to please people. That me, there was a time even in the end of town, and I'm busy as you can in the end of town. Julie, we talk about sleepers, talk about number, because she will listen. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Yeah, I'm clear. I'm in the corner of a joke. We will be talking in the end of town, and I'm going to go to the shopping in the end of a joke. When is the situation? Hallelujah. Because I don't care about people says about me. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. I was taught this by the, the, the village men. When they come to Nairobi, that man might be carrying thousands of money. Lakini unaona kamzee kanatetea hivi na kikosi kimeshuhara huku nyuma. Hashughuliki, sasa ameka kwa masoksi huku. Eh ujui baba yangu akikuja kununua gari. Pesa zilikuwa kwa masoksi. Pesa ni kwa Lord Jesus. Haleluya. Amekuja na gari ya saa 9 usiku. Sambiri ya kona robi. Niki muna kukulia hapa, ametoka tu hapa, nilala hapa, ameamuka. Uyo mtu wamesambiri. Kwa hizi nilipo kwa wachi Jesus Christ. Na patana ya, naenda, nasema, hivyo gali ya. Are we going to do a 
banking transaction, investor transaction na ma i cash. Izara sa ma. Eh, cash. Ada mga gaya, cash, kung di ba 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 yung cash wa ako? Ano siya, yung mga kisuwa, yung chuyi. Ah, sa kutuwa ba pesa huku pa soks. And you are here in here. Where's the name of Lord Jesus Christ? Because the village men don't care what people say. They 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 don't care what people say. Where's the name of Lord Jesus? Even the way you dress, young sisters, the way you dress, you dress, you cover your whole body. You start asking yourself, what are people thinking about me? They don't care about you. Why are you not sure? Because you have that spirit of fear. You feel ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. That you cannot walk on the Lord covering your hair. You feel, how will they see me with this uh, this turban on my head? People don't care about you. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? This is now the entry for me. And I'm going to show you this. Where is the name of our Jesus? But let me ask you. Nani, I'm going to tell you about the Barabara. 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 Not your friend, you're on the streets. Because on the streets, everybody has a conga shukuriza. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. That is the, the thing that you do. Unakwanga, you care so much about people speaking about you. Let me tell you. When you care about what people speak, will speak about you, you cannot move on. You cannot say anything, even before people. You have that thing in your heart that can help even the church. But you cannot speak it out. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You cannot speak it out because you know how he did carry me. You know this thing is very good and this idea is so wonderful. This idea is it's put onto the act. Somebody is going to benefit. But you just hold your idea. You feel fear to say it. Hallelujah. Then how will it help people if you keep beat on yourself? You have a testimony. That testimony can help somebody. But you hold on your on your testimony. You cannot speak it out because of this spirit. How will they that is testimony now? Come to help people. You come up Wacha. Where's the name of Lord Jesus? Miki Simama ni seme, awa wasa Master Peter, kuna mutu na ambaye, wame nipigia simu wengi wakimiliza, tutafanyaji hili tuweze kuwacha hii. Because they had the testimony. But you, you hold up your testimony, uneishika, yes, you are converted. Umezaliwa mana ya pili, kwa ni kuzaliwa mana ya pili, ni kuseba ni. Yes, the word of course is, and they defeated him. Uh, because of the word of the young testimony and the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now you, you carry the blood of Jesus and you carry the testimony. But you are just using the weapon, the blood of Jesus. The testimony is not there in you. How in any, how is Ngumzi? What you are going to show the work of? Praise the name of our Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We need to cast out that spirit of fear upon our lives. That you can stand in boldness and say that I came around I was a very bad person. I was a very evil person. But today, I am a new thing. When you say that, people will not focus about who you are. People will focus about the new thing. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Because that is what people want. People doesn't want their the other life. Não quero muito na fotoria, mas já vai aqui tambo. Olha o pessoal, aí o coça. Olha isso, esse fez a. Eu não posso dar a song, dar a musician sing, dar. O que é dica? 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 O
Unapo andika kuniusu maisha yangu ya jana andika hata maisha yangu ya sasa ya sasa wakati una hukumu na maisha yangu ya kitambo ni hukumu na maisha yangu ya sasa ya sasa haleluya na hii wewe kuleta tofauti you can get that difference that there was there was me that was old me but there is now a new me a new man that has been imparted in me and now i am a born again child of god praise the name of lord jesus and when you come out of that boldness truly there is no where that you cannot stand number two, that there is this fear of failure the fear of failure that fear is what i'm telling you that people do fail you 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 feel your, within yourself that i am a failure i cannot do this i cannot do it is the name of our jesus Christ. you feel ah uh-uh, i am not good at this people have talents but they cannot utilize their talents because of this fear they cannot utilize them we have great ministers very great ministers but they are still on that mark timing position they are not moving on at all because they don't want to utilize the talent the gift that they do have they don't want to utilize them they don't want to exercise them praise the name of our jesus i told you each and every one every son of god every believer of the lord jesus christ has a higher calling hallelujah and if you have that higher calling actually we all if you are here today and whosoever is not here but serves christ every person is called a minister that's the name of our jesus we are all ministers since what they were to do we are all ministers and when it comes to the ministry works we have so many different positions and asha is a minister the leaders are ministers the choir leader is a minister the, the evangelist is a minister the apostles the the, the 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 prophets we are all ministers and the, and there was this this church in uganda when you people you call yourself a uh, uh, sister getru then they call each other minister getru minister kaimwende minister karibia they, they give they give that status because they serve everybody is called to serve praise the name of lord jesus it was at that point that jesus christ said that and he who is greater in heaven is he who serves others so if you want to become greater in the kingdom of god become a minister serve others praise the name of lord jesus Amen. hallelujah but this spirit of feeling failure that you you are a failure when it abounds your life you cannot serve you cannot prosper you cannot do anything you cannot take risks with the name of Lord Jesus Christ you cannot take risks in your life because you feel ah, ah, i am a failure you have failed to take your children to school you start feeling oh i am a failure this people gives that stress that depression huh we know that we are tumbo the answers they come because you are into many thoughts you start asking yourself oh do i am with mujika and i was the one who made that door i can put it i am a failure and you find that person going to drunkenness akijaribu kuondoa stress only to find that after taking alcohol he become more stressed Hallelujah. This act of feeling that you are a failure, you are asking for a lady unto marriage. The lady says no. You start to say to yourself, I am a failure. If I did not win her, I am a failure. That thing should not be in you. Praise the name of our Jesus. Hallelujah. Stand up. And kipanguze. Wanasema oga urudi soko. Hmm? Clean yourself. Go back to the market. Spot another one. By the will of God. Ni mambo si ya mwili tu. Kwa roho. 
Turn around, read me now. I read myself. That's the name of our Lord Jesus. I read myself unto my own weary. Now I want you to read me unto your own weary. That's the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. And the Lord will lead you unto your own weary, unto his own weary. And you will go to that ready, and the ready will say, I am ready. That you pray that you are working. Praise the name of our Jesus Christ. You feel unto the exams. You feel that you are a failure. Huh? And, and to the company, you find yourself, you have been demoted from a supervisor. You become a janitor. You say that uh, I am a failure. Huh? Me, I told you, I just gave you an example of me coming from the position of being to his HR position, going back to trucks, and I did not feel that I'm a failure. Actually, I feel that I felt that I am a winner. <laughs> Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. And before I got onto the truck, I went back there cleaning the kitchen. I started cleaning the kitchen of the company there. I did the cleaning, then I came onto the position of loading, loading the, 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 the cargoes. And I didn't feel that I'm a failure. Never feel in your life that you are a failure. You are not a failure. Last week I was telling you that you are so special. That's the name of our team. And I was telling you, don't go there and tell your neighbor that you are so special. And you did so. You are so special. You are not a failure. And any time you see that you have been rejected in that manner, in, in, a, in a certain position, just say unto yourself that this might be the God's will to open another door. Praise the name of our Jesus. If I became the initial, maybe Saidi can work for Kampuni. Because at that company, you are working even on Sundays. Saidi had a city for Nigeria. Lakini <laughs> Uyo amepigana na Tulela Mombasa Road. Uyo ameua watu huku sijui wapi. That's why I'm here. Any time you feel you have gone down in your life, just say to yourself, this is another way of God to open another door. I told you I, 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 I reached to that point. Ya kuteseka likiwa na ibasha. In such manner that you have fried house, you have the stove and the husband of but you don't have to dwell. And uh, having there, there is a roundabout. And that roundabout was so good. And God made that roundabout to be there for somebody like me. So that you get a pile, or can't you pick up some bogus in a good day? You pick a roundabout even, Boga in a Guga. Even in a part of Boga. And that, there was that one day, we met up home. We came up and we had a chance. We did a chance to find a girl in Boga from Mashamba. Chance to come see Kana. We just put a kitu kwa nyumba subui. We met up and we got a na tumbo ni kujia. We came up and saw him there. Nenda kukupa moyo sa sita. Pika pita pita. Ya cabbage. Kwanza ya kuche ilo ilo zono kabisa. Nirukura wiki nzima. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Nirukura wiki nzima wiki kisha nikapata kazi. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Kuna muka unapereka makaratasi. You write the CVs, you are not this company. You write another CV, you take it on this company. You write this CV, you take it on this. Then unarudi kwa kajiwe pali. Unaenda kuongojia sasa. And I never quit. Actually, if there is somebody that has never quit, 
na kukufa moyo kwanza kuandika ma CV ni mimi. Bibi, bibi hata kwa nyumba ndio kuko na CV zingine hapo kwa hiyo. Eh, unaona bibi anasema hiko. Hiko. Nilikuwa naandika ma CV zinafuatana hivi. Napeleka kwa kampuni zingine natuma kwa kwa social media kwa 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 nini kwa email. Natuma huko kwa email na weka na weka huku na weka huku. Just waiting. Sasa hiyo sina kazi nimekaukiwa. Praise the Lord for all Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Never in your life say to yourself that you are a failure. The one thing that you will ever say in your life, you you you, you utamke hiyo maneno and you say that I am a failure. That is the time you will know that there is stress and depression. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. That is the moment that you will understand that truly there is a depression because shetani you always know brings any press that you have ever failed in your life he brings every memory that you have ever failed in your life and he pulls it on your mind that you have a lot of pressure in you praise the name of Lord Jesus. you start seeing yourself as a you are some other guy there. You see yourself like you how fine how fine that makes people kujinyonga. Because you find yourself I am not worthy to be this son. Yeah, I have failed my parents. Kwanza ukua kuliko miambia mama nyumba. Mama, I will do it. I will be here for you. I will do this for you. I will do this for you. Then you start seeing yourself as a failure. Uh -uh. You feel so ashamed of yourself. And you will find that you will go and take the... You see, that, that was tricks. I saw somebody writing how, how the life has become difficult. And he took the fro the flour. He writes, the flour is 250. The sugar is 241 kg. And the, the fuel is 182, and he writes here down, rat rat, five bombs. <laughs> you see the kind of preaching? <laughs> huh? <laughs> this is the, 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 the easiest way to fall. Rat rat, that is a poison for rats, that which kills the rats. That is just the five bombs. Huh? That instead of going for all these, you just go for this one. And when you are in that, in that I am a failure being, you are in stress and depression, then you find yourself and you start preaching. What will you do? You will shakahora. <laughs> Hallelujah. You just shakahora and you just die. How do we overcome this spirit? Number one. We overcome this spirit by love. By love. We overcome it by? By love. First John 4.18 First John chapter 4 verse 18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. Because fear involves torment. He that feared is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. Praise the name of our Jesus. That number one, we want to cast out fear in your life. You must love. You love. What you want to do, you first love that being. Praise the name of our Jesus. You love that being. What that person you want to meet, first love that person. Hallelujah. You cannot just go to propose it to anybody if you don't have love for that person. You will feel ashamed. You will feel fear. But I tell you, if you have the true, the perfect love within yourself, you will have that boldness to face that person. That's the name of our Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But those many, many people, because all they want is uh, sexual immorality, they want to just to fall into, into, into sexual sin. That's why you find them proposing with a lot of fear. Like they don't know what they want to do. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. But, Brother Elvis, if you have a perfect love within you, uh -uh, okay, you become. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. 
you will see that person, ah, who you to and we are for some. And truly you will propose and mutaishi. Amen? Mutaishi na mutakuwa salama. That's why the word of God is saying this, that there is no fear in hakuna hakuna uwoga katika upendo. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casts fear. It casts the fear out of your life. And you feel that you are okay. You feel that I am stable. I am well. I can do this. I can face this. I can face this. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. But if you don't have love of life, you know, the one thing that we thank God about life is because we love life. And we tell God, thank you for life. And you are, when, when you have that love, you feel even comfortable to face tomorrow. But if you don't have that love, then you are not even ready to face the next day. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew chapter 16, by Jesus using these words, this was for the service of God, for those who serve God. In verse 24, he said, that, that Jesus, I said to Jesus and to his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life uh, for my sake shall find it. For what is the gain of a uh, man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange? For his soul, for the Son of Man shall come in the glory of the of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. You see that Jesus Christ is speaking these words. He was not there to bound us. Hallelujah. He was not there that these words should bound us. He was just speaking about love. That we love him. We love his gospel. We love his service. Is the name of Lord Jesus. That if we love him, then we shall work. We shall work. We shall serve. The men of God are not here today because they have loved Jesus. They have loved the gospel. That's why they have gone to reach for those lost souls. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you don't, you don't love Jesus in any way, then you cannot serve him. You don't always live with the fear. How am I going to face the Messiah? How am I going to face this crown? How am I going to face the elders? How will I preach to them? How will I? How will I start? How will I move? How will I do this? But if you have love, you will preach to your father. When you have love, you will tell them that what you are doing is wrong. It's the name of Lord Jesus. Because the perfect love will teach you to preach to people not to go to hell. But if you see yourself, people are heading to hell and you are there watching them, then there is no love of Jesus upon your life. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Number two, boldness. Having boldness in your life. You see the word of God says in the book of Acts chapter 4, verse 13, that when the people Chapter 4, verse 13, when people saw the boldness that was with Peter, they were astonished before 13. Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unrunned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Hallelujah. That the word says that after Peter and John going to pray there and they found that man that was disabled and they told him to stand up and walk. There was people who came, the, priest, the high priest and the rulers, they came and they asked them the questions. And Peter, together with John, with great boldness, they stood and answered every question and they spoke about Jesus Christ. They witnessed Jesus upon them and they were telling them that Jesus is the stone 
which was to be uh, that, that was rejected by builders, which became the head of the corner or the cornerstone. He became the cornerstone of the building. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. And now that is where now people they started to be astonished. And Peter said that is there, neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And people saw the boldness of Peter and John, and they were astonished. Boldness, my brother, my sister. People will even fear you. That's the name of our Jesus. Hallelujah. People themselves, they will be ready to listen to you. They will be ready to have a communication. And they will fear even to ask some questions. That's the name of our Lord Jesus. But if you face people with fear, then there will be a lot of questions. You know, fear is not on that one. Young men, when you go to, to that lady, you want to speak to that lady and propose to that lady. That lady looks direct at your eyes. If you are alive, she knows. Praise the name of our Jesus. She will truly know. Even we men, we look ladies under your eyes. If you speak and then you look direct in your eyes, I see you by your fire, see you in him in a match. I will see some lies within you. Because you cannot withstand the truth. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. And therefore, you cross the doors for question if you stand in boldness. But if you speak with a lot of fear, then there will be a lot of questions unto you. Satan meets Eve and tells Eve. Was it said that you should not eat of the fruit? And Eve said, yes, he told us, we should not eat of the fruit, we should be this. As, uh, Satan asked another question, we continue with the conversation. But if just needed one answer to stop the to, to cross the door for the communication between him and them and the serpent, hallelujah, just one answer that you cannot disobey God's voice, you cannot disobey God's word, and that which God spoke, that was final. Praise the name of our Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So if we stand with boldness, the word says in the book of Philippians chapter 1 and 21, it says, for me to live, for me to live is, for me to live is Christ, and to die is, for you to declare those words, it takes a lot of boldness. You have a lot of boldness to stand and declare that word. That is why you see, the apostles, the prophets died because of Jesus. Because to them, they declared, for me to live is Christ. And for me, and for me to live is Christ, and if to die is gain. But if you fear to die, you fear to, 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 to be persecuted, you fear, you see, that is what actually has found even these mega churches today. A man of God knows very well that they are called to serve God. But because that person brought his great fire to the church and, the, and, the, and he, he, he has a lot of followers now, that person is now on stress asking himself, how am I going to do? How am I going to preach unto these people? Will they not get out? Will they now start, not start wrong, uh, uh, running away? Yeah? They have that fear within themselves of speaking the truth. Now they have compromised. Now they wonder, how am I going to amend this? Praise the name of Lord Jesus. But if they touch the foundation with the true facts, with the truth, they cannot fear even in the future. And then we stand with the boldness and speak the truth. But if you start a foundation with the lies, even marriage, you start a marriage with the lies, when you have stayed for some years, that is the moment you want to speak the truth. Uh -uh. You find your spouse divorcing you, separating from you. Why didn't you tell me that you have a child in the village? Why didn't you tell me that you, are, you have this kind of sickness? Why did you tell me that you are barren? Why didn't you tell me? Now this is the hour that you are telling me. 
Yeah? Praise the name of our Jesus. Any foundation in our life, let our foundation start by speaking the truth. And speaking the truth says very well that you are, you have boldness within you. Number three, making decisions. Making decisions. When you make decisions, you cast out fear. You make a decision to do what you want to do. You make a decision to serve God. You make a decision to stand out as a remnant of God. You want to stand out. You make that decision. And, that, and this is where you find that people cause by even making vows. They make promises unto God. They make vows. You see, when Hannah was praying unto God, Hannah prayed and prayed, but she reached unto this point of making now a promise, a vow before God, that, oh God, if truly you will bless me with a child, I will give that child to your service. I will offer him unto you. Praise the name of our Jesus. You make that one full decision. When you make that one full decision, you cast out fear. Praise the name of our Jesus. But even we today, we fear even making promises to God. Because we know very well we shall not fulfill. Hallelujah. We feel fear to vow anything before God. Because we, we know that we shall not fulfill. But if we come at full decision, yes, Lord, you have saved me from this. You have delivered me from this. Lord, I'm going to serve you. For the rest of my life, I am going to serve you. Whenever you will try to, <laughs> you know, that the year 2020, the year 2020, 2020, 2021, we were making some declaration here when starting the year. It was, uh, I think, the first. Uh, yes, it's first of that year 2021. And we were making that declaration. And if I can look here, very, very, very few people were here. Very few. And if I can call after my wife, my children, I'm going to I don't think. Can I do it? Okay, don't go for And we were here saying, we stood actually, we stood. We are saying, Lord, I declare that I will serve you the whole of this year. Lord, I declare I shall not forsake you. Lord, I declare I will serve you with a true heart. Lord, I declare, let me tell you, when you have to marry your work, when you are going to record about, praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Actually, I think even that declaration is, is on this book. And this is the same book here. I wrote it. I wrote it on this book. And we declared we so much. Yes, it was called the ES Declaration 2021. Declaring is a, a making of covenant with God. Uh, we declare good things before God. And we are here. Lord, we declare to, uh, we declare to serve the Lord. We declare uh, with gladness. We declare to serve the Lord with gladness. We declare to serve the Lord willingly. We declare to serve the Lord by faith without compromising our faith. Uh -huh. And the last of the world, we declare to serve the Lord with the truthness of the heart. We declare not going back to sin, nor going back to love the world. You see? Those were the declarations we were making. For that one year, just, it was just for that one year. It was a target here. Can I make this whole year with this kind of declaration? Praise the name of Lord Jesus. But when you look even the people and they are declaring non of war, you see them, they have that fear within them. Will I make it the whole year? Will I make it? The things that I'm going through, will I make it? Will I continue to serve God? But when we make a full decision, we will cast out fear. When we 
you stand in boldness and say, Lord, I declare. You know, it called for a lot of boldness for that Joshua when he was declaring about him and his house. It called for a lot of boldness, saying that even if you, you don't worship the Lord, today we declare that I and my house, we shall truly serve the Lord. And he told, he told them, you choose any other God that you want to choose. But for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Hallelujah. He didn't care about other people. He cared about him and his own house. That's the name of Lord Jesus Christ. That is the kind of decisions that we do need to make. You know, when you don't make the decision, this is where you find your stomach. You have not made a decision to go and witness Jesus Christ outside there. You know, it is not safe even for you women to go on the street and you witness Jesus. You stand there and you say, you know, Jesus loves you. Uh, stop sin. Jesus is coming. Turn away from this. Turn away from this. It is not sin. Hallelujah. I told you that we, have, we are all ministers. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. It is not sin. But if you go onto the street and you start speaking like you don't know what you are saying, you start stammering. Just understand, you still have the spirit of fear within you. That's the name of Lord Jesus. But if you have that great boldness within yourself, you will stand there and you shall declare, you shall testify Jesus, you shall witness, and truly the message will reach even unto the people. Amen? <laughs> Amen. And uh, number four, finishing up. Finishing up. Have the Holy Spirit. Have the Holy Spirit. This is above all. Receive the Holy Spirit in your life. The Holy Spirit cannot live where there is fear. You have heard that the fear ones have their part in the lake of fire. So the Holy Spirit cannot be together with the fear. For the Holy Spirit will not go to the lake of fire. The Holy Spirit will be in the kingdom of God. Amen? Amen? Therefore, you need the Holy Spirit upon your life. You receive the Holy Spirit of God, that He will guide you, that you want to go to testify. You ask the Holy Spirit, I am capable, am I capable to go and stand there and testify? Am I capable to face even the witches who are my relatives? Am I capable to do this and this? What is the name of our Jesus? For the one that says, that Jesus said unto them, wait upon the Holy Spirit. Wait until I send the comforter, I send the teacher, I send him, the helper. Hallelujah. So you need the Holy Spirit. This is calling even for those who are into marriage or who want to get into marriages. Wait upon the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. So that you will not be rejected five times. Ten times. No reason we are not No reason we are not No reason we are not Because you walk by flesh, not by the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit has not guided you. Hallelujah. He has not guided you in any way. But you walk after the flesh. After the flesh. You want to start a business. I, I was telling you the other time that even the place to live, the location where you need to live, you need the Holy Spirit to guide you. Yeah, don't, don't wake up just one day in a seven and a half to have. When the wapi. Wait until the Holy Spirit of God will guide you. This is the best place for you. This is the best place. This is a good place. Amen? Wait upon the Holy Spirit of God. If the Holy Spirit of God will come upon you, He will cast out every fear. Hallelujah. And you will speak with a lot of boldness you cast out this spirit of fear. In the book of Acts 7, 51, 7, 51, he says, Ye stiff naked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did so, do ye. These were the words of the man of God that was known as Stephen before he was stoned. After he spoke this word, let me tell you, he was not after the flesh, but he was with the Holy Spirit of God speaking. You cannot just utter these words 
Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. That you meet the elders, the leaders, you tell them, you sit naked and uncircumcised in the hearts and ears to them, to the people of the world, feels like an abusive language. Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You have rejected. Uh, you do always resist to the Holy Ghost as your fathers did so. And so do you. And uh, when I was, I, I received the privilege to preach there at school. I preached about the divination. And uh, after pre preaching, the lecturer stood and he asked me, or he asked the uh, class, do you think that kind, by, with that kind of preaching, you will receive offerings? <laughs> he asked me actually, and uh, do you even ask for offerings after preaching that kind of truth? Praise the name of our Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. It calls for a lot of boldness, a lot of love, Holy Spirit of God to stand and to declare the truth. Amen. It calls a lot of, actually, the first thing he asked. Uh, he said it when he stood, he said that was a very sensitive topic. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. Very sensitive. But it called for the reading of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen? We cannot just stand there and preach about the revelation. I will be to God in my bishop. I will be my bishop. In a prophetess Monica. Una mujua? Awa, una simama pere yao una na Apostle Francis wako pare. And you care, no speech. And you don't care. Muta sema nini. Muta sate ni woman there. Ambaye. Wana wana nikama kuna iyo roho. Akajikunja, akajikunja, akajikunja. Kaibika, kashindwa, atafanya ni, break them, neta chance, haedi, and they support my waso, how can you know what food to memorize my soul, to make my body a good thing, I can't, praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Sensitive one. Sure. Let me show us the telling of what's up. Hey, that is okay. Ilikuwa kari. Kwa unana mwalimu wakisimama, anze kusomesha, anachukua like one hour kuendereza mahubi. <laughs> Ata asomeshi tas, ni kuendereza hiyo roko. Because ya jinsi na babi imeharibu makanisa. Jinsi na babi imeharibu mafamilia. Jinsi na babi imeharibu tuwa za watu. Wese niko farawati ya. Roma na mbao ni mbaya. For it, Chapter 4, verse 8. Same book. Acts 4, 8. It says, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and the elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the important man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him that this man stand here before you uh, whole. Amen? The word says that being filled by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You cannot stand. You see John the Baptist standing and telling the, 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 the king that what you did is wrong. You know? You are too much. You know? Hata kabla hauja mwabia ingine, hata kabla hauja endereza, umekoswa mfame. Mwanezu wa sikuwe sana. Yani unambia mfame kenya rifanya, amekosea. Usi endereze, kwa chana huko kuingine. Asutai kujua nini ya rifanya. Iyo tu, inafanya ufungu. Hata Yohana kwa tizaji ya kenderea. You have did long by taking your brother's Wife. Huh? And the king was so grieved by John. Praise the name of Lord Jesus. 
That's why I'm telling you that. To stand and speak that truth, telling the king, you have committed adultery. The room is the place. You have committed adultery. <laughs> what you did is wrong. And the head was chopped at uh, the body of the daughter. It calls for a lot of love, a lot of boldness, a lot of decision, a lot of Holy Spirit. Praise the name of our King. It calls for those before. He has four weapons to cast out fear in your life. If you if you can have that, that those, those arms, you have those weapons with you, then you don't have fear at all. And there is no place that you cannot stand. There is nowhere that you cannot go. There is a good amount of ways to have a commotion in that. Because you don't have fear. I think you will come to Sahaya for the event of commotion. As if I have for Daniel Wakaya. It's a great point. We hear a good of free people. I am still a very good commercial. And I did a particular life. And I just I think I just And I just a free when you are a And I just a look when you are a car. I come to kiss all my wife when you are going to walk. When I said, 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 When I and I put on Tuesdays as a video of a Hayuko. And then that's a How many are bold enough to stand there? On the Leo, Mudas Denda, Denda Ronesha Kazi, the Nafayango, the Gertrude, the Geoku, Ronesha, how can you be in a Kango, Pijina from Guyango? As I just show me, Pijina from Guyango, when you are not saying Yayuko. The word of God started by telling us that we have been not been given the spirit of, of fear. Hallelujah. But, but the spirit of love. Let us stand up on our feet in the mighty name of Jesus. May we make the whole spirit of God be our bread, become our bread in every way, in all our lives. We become our friend, and by doing so, then there is no mountain that we cannot climb, there is no valley we cannot go through. We can conquer everything because of Christ who strengthens us. Hallelujah. Even for you, you can do all things. I don't always say that for myself. But you can do all things. You can do anything. Hallelujah. Yes. Never stay in a house and say that I am a faker. Just say that I can do anything. I can do anything. Come and you can my car. There's a chop of my car. And use it and it's not the best. Yeah? I can do many things. The company car wash, I can work in that car wash. And the one that here, even if we are special people, we are not those special people with pride. Hallelujah. We are not special people with pride. That you can be in any place. I couldn't marry you with the kazi. But you want to go to the house, you want to go to the car wash, you want to go to the palace, you want to go to the house, you want to go to the house, Praise the name of our Jesus. We are watching our bow. We are specialists, but we are special to do anything that is good. Praise the name of our Jesus. As long as that thing is good, you can do it. Hallelujah. And by doing so, we shall praise even the Lord and to the Bukia Wengine, even unto the kingdom of God. Amen. I want you to take this moment and the prayer to the Lord. As you declare unto the name of Lord Jesus Christ upon your life. And uh, 
tell the Lord to give you the spirit of love. In one way of asking God about having the spirit of love within us is to pray unto Him. Sometimes you feel that you just hit people for nothing. That you cannot speak with somebody, you cannot even walk with somebody because you just feel, you just feel you hate that person. You just need to pray God and ask God, God give me love to love everybody, to love people. Because when we don't love, we need ourselves from serving God and we cannot please God in any way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take this moment, go before the Lord and pray unto God and also cast out that demon of fear. Cast out that spirit of fear in your life.
you are able, you are worthy, you are so powerful, you are so great, you are so magnificent, you are so worthy, you are holy, you are righteous God, we praise your holy name, we honor you and we adore you Jehovah God, we thank you King of Glory for that service. Thank you for the word of God that Jehovah God you have provided unto us. Mighty King of glory. Thank you Jehovah Father for calling us Jehovah to serve you. Calling us to minister before you O oh God. Lord Jesus we repent for ministering before you with the fear. Serving you with the fear. We repent O oh God for working our serving our, our, our talents, working our gifts by fear. Father, forgive us and cleanse us by the blood of Jesus. Now, King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus, I cast out every spirit of fear among the brethren, the mighty name of Jesus. I cast that spirit out of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. That spirit that has bound your life that you cannot do anything, I cast it out by the blood of Jesus. I declare oh, redemption upon the children of God. I declare redemption upon the church of God. Upon the men of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may you redeem their souls. Redeem their mind. Redeem their life. Redeem their tongue. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may you redeem your children. In Jesus' mighty name. For you have not given us a spirit of fear, but the spirit of love and boldness. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, may you impact the Holy Spirit of God upon the life of your children. In the mighty name of Jesus, that they will serve you through the Holy Spirit of God. And they shall do exploits through the Holy Spirit of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, mighty King of glory, in the mountain that have stood before us, O oh God. Let it be made pain in the mighty name of Jesus. Every wall barriers, Sophia, Jehovah, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Mighty King of glory, I pray for courageousness. I pray for boldness upon your children, King of kings. That whenever they pray unto you, whenever they cast out evil, they cast out sicknesses, they cast out demons, they break and destroy the works of the witches and sorcerers of God. They bring down the strongholds and the principalities of the kingdom of darkness. I pray to our God that the Holy Spirit of God will help them all Father, the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory. I pray for love upon our life. I pray to our for the Holy Spirit upon our life. I pray to our for full decisions upon our life. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help us, Jehovah God, to conquer in anything, to conquer everything. And all victory, Jehovah God, belongs unto you. The mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. We cover ourselves by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we cover the word of God within us by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we do pray and even believe. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Now that which that you wouldn't do before, consider it done. Just believe that you can do it. Just believe that you are capable to do it. Hallelujah. Amen. We pray for disabled people. We pray healing unto their deaf, unto their ears, unto their mouth, those who are mute, and to the, and those who are lame that cannot walk. But you find that they refuse to stand walk, they refuse to speak because they fear if they fail, what will happen? My brother, my sister it is time for you to believe and have faith that you can do that which you can't do. Hallelujah and by doing so the Holy Spirit of God will help you. Amen Amen Mungu wa bariki na mungu wa mema Shalom Yeah. 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 Yeah.